This is where we're going to throw the analogy of uh, pounds and euros out of the window. Because ultimately what we want to be doing next is multiplying uh, expressions together. So you could have something like 3x times 5y. And it doesn't really make any sense if we're thinking about uh, 3 uh, pounds times 5 euros. It doesn't make any sense really to do that. So that analogy has got to go out the window. And that's really only, well, you know, why we might be thinking about pounds and euros is really to think about how collecting the like terms together to solve that type of problem. If we're dealing with something like this, 3x times 5y, then the, what you need to remember is to deal with the numbers first. Okay? Deal with the numbers first, then we're going to deal with the letters. So we've got 3 times 5 is 15, and then we have the letters x times y is xy. Okay, And you can see that I don't bother writing the times sign in, because if you multiply two letters together, then we can just write them as xy. So x times y is xy. So in a very similar example, we might have something like 4x times uh, 8y. Very similar problem. Okay, So deal with the numbers first, 4 and 8. 4 times 8 is 32, and then we've got x and y, so x times y. Okay, so there's, there's not really much difficulty here so far. Now, what we need to take into account from this point on is understanding and going back to powers. So if you have something like x times x, then this can be abbreviated to x squared, okay? So x times x, x times itself is x squared. If you have x times x times x, then this would be x cubed, okay? Well, that seems fair enough. So that if you had something like uh, 5x times 8x, then we're going to deal with it in very much the same way as before. So we're going to start with multiplying the 5 by the 8. 5 times 8 is 40. And then we've got x times x. So deal with the letter second. x times x is x squared. Okay? So 5x times 8x can be written as 40x squared. And that is how we multiply expressions like this together.